All right, so this is class one of uh, flamenco. So first we learn the pulgar technique. And remember to give yourself a thumbs up so the thumb is fully extended. Put the thumb right underneath the sound hole. And your exercise is going to be E, E, A, E. And it's A, A, D, A. And it's going to be D, D, G, D. Then it's going to be G, G, B, G. Then it's going to be B, B, E, B. Full exercise. starts off with an E minor chord. E minor is finger 2 on the 2nd fret of the A string and finger 3 on fret 2 of the D string. We start off here and I'm going to use the names of the numbers of the string so you can uh, easily follow the uh, pattern here. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3, and then again. 6, 5, minor and you're gonna go five four three two one two three four and then again five four three two one two three four and then you repeat it to the rumba strum, okay? Rumba strum, you're going to hold on E minor. You're going to do rest stroke thumb on the E string. Then you're going to strum down the remainder of the strings. Then your thumb is going to strum back up. Now your hand slaps. You slap the strings, but make sure your thumb ends up resting on that E string. So you can easily anchor up, and the index goes up, flicks down, flicks up. Altogether without saying anything, it's okay, it's repeat. Go to the A minor, and this time you do it from the A bass note. But you still anchor on the E. Right to the A again. Okay? All together? separate little exercise, you hold down E minor, you flick down, flick up, four times on each chord. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Once you get comfortable with that, I want you to accent the first one. So it's one, two, three, four, one. You hit that first hit a little bit harder. So it actually sounds like one. 